everybody and this intro to color read emotion effects we're going to look at cloners cloners are very simple so what i'm just going to do is go to the color reader tab to get this tab just you can load it it comes in the demo file or the actual installation so i'm going to editor you don't need to use the editor but i like using the editor you can just say add cloner and we will get a cloner a cloner is essentially just a way to place points uh, in a certain uh, fashion into the scene. So the cloner has said different distribution types. So we've got circular, brick, grid, and helix. So uh, which is cool. We're not going to go into mesh surface in this tutorial. It's a bit more advanced. So we'll just stick to the basics. So yeah they're very straightforward pretty much the placeholders show you where the distributions are going to be so if i add 20 distributions let's just do something interesting here and then of course we need some animations to make things interesting we're going to add a modifier don't forget modifiers affect everything in the scene but we're going to look at effectors that allow you to isolate that so if i press play you're going to get this crazy animation so but uh, it's a bit too crazy for me, so I'm going to add 5, uh, and amplitude 1, and then just slow it down a bit to get, you know, uh, something, you know, in the rhythm of things. Yeah, pretty straightforward, so, and you can just switch between things, everything's non-destructive, so circular, to give you a similar effect. Now, onto the most important part. I'm sure you are wondering how do we get objects onto this. It's very straightforward. I'm going to use Lightwave's instancing system for this. So, one second. Mm. My cam, sorry, my video, my recording uh, software is giving me problems there. But anyway, let's fix that. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is add, first you need an object, of course, so just say load, I'm sure you've got an object you want to instance, and I'm saying say shiny thing, a shiny thing, that's what a shiny thing is, it's just shiny, <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees to get something like that, okay, and then... What am I going to do next? Okay, so I'm going to hide that object because we don't need it. We just need it as a reference. So to do that, just go to the dope sheet and select the object you want and just say hidden. You can close that. And then the most important part, select the cloner, go to properties, instancing, and then just say instance generator. So double click it to open that and then select the object we want. Obviously, you will see the bounding box, but we're going to actually show the objects. So we're going to go to shaded solid. And then for the final touch, you go to item particles. And you're going to get this funny effect. Looks like a worm or a chongololo. I don't know what you, if you know what that is. It's, a, it's like a worm. <laughs> you can Google that. So if I press play, we're going to get our instances. And you can render this out, of course. We've got VPR. Ah, sorry about that. My video playback is really giving me problems here. Okay, sorry about that. And anyway, here we are in uh, VPR. I'm back. Yeah, so it renders. Everything is there, of course. If you press VPR. Oh, so, oh, yes, one important thing. If you're not rendering, the update will not update. You need... This is a limitation at the moment. You will need one of the views for, for you to preview the animation in VPR to be open. So that's when things will start moving on your left, for example. So you need one of the OpenGL windows. So hopefully we'll be able to fix that in the, in the near future. Okay, so what's next? And uh, let me just close instancing. Oh, okay, guys, I'm just going to stop there because my video recording software is just saying no today. But I hope I showed you the basics. Okay, looks like it's working again. One second. There. Yeah, okay. I'll just change it to circular so you can see this is non-destructive. And okay, we're done. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.